What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and here are five things Apple didn't tell you about the new iPhone X. Shit, iPhone 10. All right, so first up, they didn't mention the battery capacity of the iPhone 10. Now don't freak out, that's pretty normal for Apple to do. They typically don't mention capacity numbers for things like that, so I'm not really worried there, but I was questioning why they said that the iPhone 10's battery would last two hours longer than the iPhone 7 and not the iPhone 8, which they had just announced prior to that. So I don't know, it's got me thinking, but I guess we'll find out for sure when the iPhone 10 drops in November. Another really important piece of information that Apple did not give us is regarding the iPhone 10's display. Now they did say, this is the first OLED display great enough to be in an iPhone. Finally, something great enough to be in an iPhone. I'm gonna have to question that with only 625 nits of brightness. Now all this information is coming directly from the tech specs page for the iPhone 10 on apple.com, which I will link below for you. But when we compare it to other OLED or AMOLED panels, such as the ones seen on Samsung devices, well, according to DisplayMate, the Note 8 packs 1200 nits of brightness and the Galaxy S8 packs 1000 nits of brightness, which is pretty impressive. Though that same report also lists that the iPhone 7 packs 705 nits of brightness when Apple's spec page only lists 625, which is the same as the iPhone X, but I guess we'll have to get it in our hands to find out for sure. So for all you selfie fans out there, a little tidbit of information is the fact that the iPhone 10 features the same front-facing camera as the iPhone 7 and 8. So you're not really getting any bump in megapixels, still just that same megapixel front-facing shooter, but as you might have seen in the keynote, well, they are offering some pretty cool portrait mode effects with that front camera, so kind of something to offset the lack of megapixels. Another thing that you should probably know, and this isn't necessarily something that they didn't announce, but they're not really coming out right and saying it, is that the iPhone X's stainless steel sides are gonna be a scratch magnet. And for all of you out there that are getting ready to complain about that, please just keep your complaints a little lower because stainless steel is known to scratch. I mean, it's just going to scratch. That's how it is. It was a thing when the stainless steel Apple Watch came out. It's a thing with stainless steel silverware. It doesn't matter. Stainless steel scratches. And if you want to learn how to remove some of those scratches from your stainless steel Apple Watch or the iPhone X when you get it and inevitably scratch it, you can check out the video linked in the description where I explain a pretty easy method to do this. And finally, well, Apple didn't mention the water resistance rating for the iPhone 10. And while that's not that big of a deal, it's important to know that it's still the same IP67 dust and water resistance rating, not IP68 like we've seen on some other devices. And that may not be a big deal to everyone. It's certainly not a big deal to me, but it's a notable thing to mention considering, I mean, how much really more is it going to cost to make a device IP68 certified? I feel like we deserve it by now. So in case you're planning on picking up the iPhone iPhone 10 when it launches on November 3rd. The pre-order starts on October 27th. It's going to be 999 smackaroos, which is pretty ridiculously expensive if you ask me, but people are willing to pay that Apple tax. Previously, the Galaxy Note 8 was the phone to complain about when it comes to price, but this one just raised the bar in a totally different kind of way. Let me know what you think about the iPhone 10 in the comments section below. And if you know anything else that Apple didn't mention in the keynote, please drop a comment below for me and I'll be tweeting those out and giving people credit throughout the week. So thank you so much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.